Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make a digital negative. So the first thing you want to do is open up your photo in Photoshop. Um, a quick note about selecting a photo. Your photo has to look good in black and white. For a cyanotype, which is what we are creating digital negatives for, you have a monochromatic image that will be uh, shades of blue. So generally what I'll do here is go do a quick adjustment uh, image adjustment black and white um, just to kind of see what it looks like in monochrome and in this case this photo I think looks good in color and it's uh, not bad in black and white. Uh, if you wanted to go further and let's see what it would look like as a cyanotype you could do a couple of things but basically just add a blue filter so in this case I'm going to just go here image adjustments photo filter and I can go down here to cyan and then crank that way up and maybe do a hundred or so and that's uh, that's an okay approximation of what a cyanotype might look like for this for this image blue might actually be better or somewhere in between there you could actually select this sort of middle blue here and maybe that'll look kind of right. So that's a rough approximation. It's not exactly what it's going to look like, but in any case, I'm going to go back to the color image here. Now this photo has this nice contrast of like this orange in the top and then this blue kind of foreground, uh, which contributes to the photo's aesthetic um, merits, but uh, in this case it will look not, not too bad as a black and white image. So there's only really two major things that you have to do here for a digital negative. Image adjustments, black and white. And um, what I would recommend doing here is go through some of these filters. Go through darker, green filter, go through them and find the photo that looks the best to you. Because each of these photos, uh, I'm sorry, each of these filters approximates what it would look like if you shot through, uh, say, a, a blue filter when you were shooting film. So it, it approximates the blending of uh, the colors and how they kind of appear in the image. And in this case, I don't know, high contrast blue filter was kind of interesting, but probably not what we're looking for. I contrast red filter versus red filter. Go back to the default. I think what I'm going to do instead is just go default, and then instead of letting the uh, filter do the adjustment for me, what I'm going to do is actually a curves adjustment. And so if I go image adjustments curves, I can kind of control exactly what I want to be, you know, what values I want to be what. So in this case, I think we just need a little bit more contrast in this area right here. So I command click on these two values, the darker and the lighter values, that I want to increase the contrast, and I can kind of do that. Now, not every photo is going to need this. In this case, I think that, you know, this photo may not be able to kind of get exactly what I want to do without some, some work. Um, that's too much contrast, so I'm just going to leave it for now. Um, I would probably fine tune this. I might use some layers and some layer masks to kind of uh, isolate and just control this one area over here, this one area over here that I want to increase the contrast in. But for now, maybe a quick image adjustments, brightness and contrast, just increase the contrast a little bit, see if I can get that. Hmm. Sort of what I was thinking about there, just a little bit more contrast. Fine. Once I have my black and white image adjusted, I would do any cropping here first uh, before I do that. Uh, in this case, I think the composition is okay. I don't need to crop anything. The next step is to actually go image. Adjustments, invert, or command I. That's going to flip the image. So this is a digital negative that we're creating here. And this is a negative. All the white areas became black, all the black areas became white, and all the gray values are reversed. So convert to black and white, invert. Now, some um, digital negative tutorials will actually suggest putting an overlay of orange or sepia tone uh, here. In this case, we're just going to print it in black and white, and that's fine. It's going to work out just fine. Um, sometimes you decrease the contrast depending on the kind of paper or material that you're using for your cyanotype or other alternative process. Um, you can get really involved with making a digital negative, and there's a lot of information out there. For us, we're just going to kind of keep it simple. Black and white, 
invert, resize. Okay. And uh, for the resize, we're just going to do what we normally do for a uh, printing file. First, we change the resolution to 300, and then we change the longer side to 10 inches. So here we have 10 inches on the long side, 300 pixels per inch. Click OK. That's really all we need to do for this creation of the digital negative. Finally, file, save as, and you'll save it as your last name, underscore first name, underscore, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, make sure you save as a Photoshop file. So that's the first option here. If you haven't done any layer adjustments, the default will actually be JPEG, which is not exactly what we're looking for. So save as a Photoshop file, and uh, that is what you're going to turn in.